If you're like me and you notice a direct correlation between the quality of your sleep and your actual productivity with your work and the amount of things you get done and just kind of how you feel overall in life, I got a weird recommendation for you today, but you might want to consider mouth taping. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is the, the weirdest recommendation that it was ever given to me. Uh, my dietitian has been on me and trying to get me to do mouth taping for a while, but I just kind of thought it was weird. So we're gonna break down some things today about why it's not as weird as you think, but I'm also gonna talk to you about some health benefits that weren't described to me or explained to me, and then maybe things you wanna know because it's pretty profound to be quite honest. Okay, so one of the first things that I came across was Mouth sleeping, there's kind of some signs or indications. It's really used mouth taping in a lot of cases to identify potential problematic situations. And so here's what some of these people have done to learn if you are a mouth breather, because maybe you don't know if you are one or not. Uh, but if you're constantly tossing and turning at night, if you're waking up in the middle of the night to urinate, I'm not sure how that applies directly to breathing through your mouth. I'm not sure, but I'll trust the science here. Uh, if you're snoring, uh, you have bad breath in the morning. That was something that I definitely noticed. Uh, bleeding gums or gingivitis, you must be a hell of a mouth breather to, breather to have that going on. Um, signs of teeth grinding, cavities drooling on the pillows, sleep-related problems like sleep apnea. So I know a lot of people, uh, if they snore, they use this to kind of diagnose, right? And in some cases, they actually can alleviate like the sleep apnea or the snoring. My wife, for example, she tried the, I know she's a mouth breather because I've woken up and I've seen her actually mouth breathing. She actually tried this and she couldn't do it because it felt uncomfortable because her body, when she was starting to fall asleep, was like, nope, we're used to breathing through the mouth. So it's a great way to identify if you are doing some of these things. And that ties into the bigger picture that I wanna talk about before because the big takeaway that I have comes down to what's called nitric oxide. And here's what I didn't realize is that 25% of nitric oxide is produced in the sinuses within the nose. Now you may not want to be like, I don't know, why does that matter? What implications does that have on my life? Well, check this out, it goes on further. The advantages of adequate nitric oxide are enhancement of learning and memory, improvement of sleep quality, regulated blood pressure, regulation of inflammatory responses, pain relief, weight loss, improved mental health. That is profound, right? That is a huge deal and all from just being able to breathe through your nose and having adequate nitric oxide in your body. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't other things that play into your nitric oxide, but if 25% is coming through directly your sinuses, that's obviously something you would want to address. All right, and then on the flip side, we've got the disadvantages of decreased nitric oxide. So worsening of the vascular function in the heart, probably a big deal. Uh, high blood pressure, depression, anxiety. That was surprising. I didn't expect to see that there chronic inflammation and decreased immunity. So I will be totally transparent. The reason that I wanted to cite that myself and the reason that I'm continuing to do the mouth taping every night, even though I find it to be pretty bizarre, is because of this chart here, is because of the data that's been found as far as the problematic areas it can have on the rest of your body. And I have not necessarily noticed those things per se, although I've only been doing it for about a month. Um, but this proves to me that it's worthwhile for me to pursue that. So anecdotally, I don't wake up the next day and feel like, oh man, I can totally tell I taped my mouth last night. I just slept so great. However, I feel like the risk of me breathing through my mouth, not knowing that I'm doing it and potentially causing long-term problems like the one that I just mentioned here, it's probably worthwhile for me to keep doing it more specifically because I am accustomed to waking up and having morning breath, right? As many people often cite and do themselves. In fact, I think one of the things that I read earlier said that more than 50% of people cited waking up with bad breath in the morning. And obviously that could be a variety of things, but I've noticed when I do the mouth taping, my breath is not as bad in the morning. So I know that even though I don't consider myself a mouth breather, that the likelihood I'm doing it is probable. So all that to say, I'm going to continue the mouth taping if for no other reason, but the ones that I just mentioned to you. Now, as I did tell you before we wrap up here, I am going to show you as a brief demonstration of what this actually looks like to do it. It's pretty easy to do, and you can get this for about nine bucks on Amazon. Uh, this is one that was recommended to me. It's called my, I, didn't, I don't know how to say it, Azazar, I believe, but it was one of the ones, some of them were actually a dollar per piece of tape. I felt that was pretty extreme. This one's pretty great. It was 60 pieces for about $9, so you get a lot of bang for your buck with that. But basically what you're gonna do is this, you get like a little sheet of paper as such, right? And what you do is you peel off this thing, it's like a little X, and then if you have facial hair, I will say you're definitely gonna know, notice. It's not gonna stick as well like it would on my wife, uh, but it it will stick on your lips, just not on the surrounding area, skin around your mouth, but it will still work. And I'll show you as such here. So I just stick it here like this. And as you can see, I can still talk, albeit not great. I can still talk, 
uh, but it just sits right like that. Now, some people would think that's not going to stay on. That's probably going to come off, and you'd be surprised. I actually wake up every single morning, and it's still there, even though it's only stuck to the top and bottom of my lip, and I feel like a crazy person. Um, I roll around. I'm a big toss and turner. I know that because I check it on my devices. I'll take this off now. I know, and you can see I had to really pull on that. Um, I'm a toss and turner. I move around a lot when I sleep, and this has not come off. There are a couple mornings I wake up and I'm like, ah, I'm tired of it, and I take it off. But for bar none, I would say 99% of the time that thing has stayed on the entire time. And as you can see, I can still talk, albeit not great. I can still talk. So you don't feel like you're going to suffocate under there or you're being kidnapped, like I mentioned. <laughs> but uh, it is enough for me to really foster more nasal breathing. And I have indeed noticed that. I've noticed that it kind of changes the positioning of my mouth so that I'm not feeling like it, my throat's kind of closed in and I feel like I'm going to snore because I, I can be a snorer when that happens if I lay on my back specifically. Um, so I think it's probably a worthwhile pursuit. At the very least, spend nine bucks, see if it helps you out. Do it for a month, see if you get some benefit. But it's something that I've been doing and I wanted to share along with you, fellow business owners. I think if there's anything you can do to improve memory function, brain function, all those various things, I think it's going to show up in your work. Mental clarity, mental performance, all those things are going to really benefit you in your work. I don't think I have to tell you that more than once. That's, uh, or even tell you once at all, that's a pretty obvious statement there. So hope this video helps. Hope it helps you make a decision and maybe you try it out. Maybe you mouth tape for a little bit. I have people that swear by it and I'm going to keep doing it myself. All right, guys. And now there's three things I wanted to share with you if you're looking for further resources beyond this video. Number one is my ultimate startup checklist. So if you're looking to do things the right way in the order in which I think is most fruitful for you to do that, you can check that resource out. It's just a free PDF download. Number two is my business type quiz. So if you know kind of the industry you want to be in, but you don't know the best business model for you, for both your personality and your lifestyle, that's going to help you identify that. And number three is my free class on how to market and sell your business or your product or your service online without sounding hokey or gimmicky or salesy or all the things that people feel cringe about. Hope you guys enjoy that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, drop me a comment below. See you in the next one.